What's going on Workforce? Brian here and today I'm so excited to talk to you guys about Octopath Traveler. I've been talking about this game, it feels like a lot lately, whether I've done a video about it or I've been talking this up to my friends about how excited I am for this game to release on the Nintendo Switch July 13th if you're not aware. But uh, I was planning on making this video because we know six of the eight protagonists so far. And that's really interesting because we know six of the eight jobs. There could be more jobs that they have yet to reveal, but as far as the characters go, each character has a main job. Let's go ahead and review those characters here real quick. You have Ulbrich the Warrior, you have Theron the Thief, you have Primrose the Dancer, you have Aflin the Apothecary, you have Tressa the Merchant, and you have Hanat the Hunter. Now, if you actually take the letter C and the letter O and you intermingle them between uh, Ulbrich and Theron and then Theron and Primrose, the, the, the names, the first letter of each name spells out Octopath. And special thanks to Sparta for calling this out on our Discord server. I really appreciate that shout out. Uh, this was really interesting to know because I was planning on sitting down and making this video that I'm talking about what two jobs are missing. Obviously, if they do more jobs than just the standard eight, that's great. And I would totally support it. That sounds awesome. But if they focus in on eight jobs, what two are missing? So we have a warrior, a thief, a dancer, an apothecary, a merchant, and a hunter. Let's focus in on apothecary because when it breaks down, it's like, what is that? Well, if you're familiar to Final Fantasy and the universe, it sounds more like a chemist. So an apothecary, a chemist using potions, healing, doing various status elements, either attacking or defense or buffing the party in, in and of itself. And so for me, I'm like, where's the healer? You know, maybe the dancer could do some healing. Maybe the merchant could also do some healing. If you're breaking down these roles, what are we really missing? And the first thing that really stands out in my mind from this list is casters. Where are the real magic users? Obviously, we've seen some form of magic in dancing. We've seen some abilities with the boost system in the warrior Ulbrich. We've seen some of this. We've seen hints of this, but we haven't really seen that fact and also then we have the uh, you know the rogue system the noble and the rogue breaking down these you know these actions of challenge and then the the, the you know challenge being the heroic uh, or the noble and the provoke being the rogue action you have steal and buy uh, you know so then you, those each seem to have kind of a counterpart pro and con noble and rogue allure and acquire now uh, allure seems to be like it's kind of a charm ability and so I could easily see for me the first job that I could say is some type of mage some type of wizard looking at bravery default looking at Final Fantasy looking at the history of the games I mean we could talk about a black mage are they gonna go that into Final Fantasy I mean if you look at the development of this game with bravery default being it's it's base they did have a you know, time mage. They did have a spell fencer, a black mage, a white mage. They did have a red mage. They brought in the mages that were really akin to Final Fantasy lore and history. And they also did some spins on their own. They, you know, they had the arcanist in here as well. They had the spirit master. They had the Templar, the conjurer. So they brought in some of that. We've seen some of that obviously in Final Fantasy 14 as well. Bravery second, a little bit more. They brought in Astrologian. They brought in a job called Wizard, Charioteer, Catmancer. <laughs> so there's Plenty of things they could do. Plenty of things. I'd love to know what your thinking is. But as far as the C and the O, if we're going to assume their names, the, the character's name is going to start with the C and the character name is going to start with an O, I'm betting we're going to see some type of wizard sage mage. Now, sage being from Dragon Quest, that whole series. But uh, if they go in, you know, because you see warrior, thief, dancer, even hunter, uh, merchant to a degree, merchant more leaning into the bravery default world, apothecary leaning more into that Final Fantasy tactics, maybe even bravery default world. But because bravery default had a black mage, a white mage, a time mage, that is personally what I am feeling is missing. Now, I'm a lover of casters. I really enjoy those in any game and RPG that I play. So what it breaks down as this, as this goes, the question I have, haven't been able to kind of reconcile in this, I'd love to know your input on this, is that is it should it be a wizard or should they just go straight up black mage? Is it a white mage that we're looking for or should they go something a little bit more, you know, generic as in conjurer or even cleric? Uh, so to say. So obviously the, the name and the letter isn't going to give us much of it, but if they're going with Octopath and they're going for these jobs, that's where I kind of lean. And then obviously because of the sub job system, the ability to take jobs, uh, your main and then add in your sub job, I think that's going to help build out a lot of interesting builds for your party in and of itself. 
So that's what I'm going with. I honestly think that we're going to see a black mage or a, a wizard type job. Uh, you know, whether they call it wizard or black mage, they can go either way. They, you know, they, there is precedence when I say bring in Bravery Default, when I bring in previous Final Fantasy titles. Uh, same thing with, uh, you know, a white mage or a cleric. Now, we do have an apothecary, could be a healer. We do have a, you know, <laughs> uh, but we could also have a healer that's more based off of and around uh, magic as opposed to items. And so this breaks down. So like I was breaking uh, down the, the kind of the abilities earlier, I could see the black mage or even, you know, just for lack of a better term, white mage having the charm ability. So you have a lure for Primrose the Dancer. You could then have a charm ability, which has the similar effect, but one is noble and one is rogue. But that, that just leaves Inquire. And I think that would might be the noble action where Interrogate could be that of the rogue path and so that kind of gives you the the four options the noble and the rogue uh path actions in and of itself and so that gives you as a character the ability to play and um, build your party and play the game i guess in interesting ways now we'll see what level of freedom that entails i'm really excited to find out regardless but guys that's just my thoughts and i'd love to know yours obviously i'm really hyped for this game sound off in the comments below is it black mage is it white mage is it wizard is it cleric or is it something else entirely there i will put some links in the description below for you guys if you want to peruse the vast amount of jobs that we've seen throughout the final fantasy series and even bravery default up to this point but anyway guys for work to game my name's brian thanks so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next but until then i hope you have a fantastic day and take care